which of the following is not correct for a gas undergoing isothermal expansion so student first of all we are given with isothermal condition and for isothermal we know that delta t is equals to 0 since we know that q v is equals to c v delta t which is equals to delta u is equals to 0 since delta t is equals to 0 now let us consider delta h delta h is equals to delta u plus delta p v which is equals to delta u plus n g r delta t since we know delta u is equals to 0 and delta t is equals to 0 that means delta h is also 0 moving to the last we know that according to first law of thermodynamics delta u is equals to q plus w since delta u is equals to 0 that means q is equals to minus w or we can say that w is not equals to 0 that means number 1 delta u is equals to 0 delta t is equals to 0 w is equals to 0 is incorrect delta h is equals to 0 that means the correct answer is option c moving to the next question the number of faraday's symbol f required to produce 4.5 gram of aluminium from molten alcl3 that is aluminium chloride s we are given with the atomic mass of aluminium which is 27 u students the options are 2 3 1 or 0.5 students we know that aluminium 3 plus requires 3 electron to give aluminium that means 27 gram of aluminium that is 1 mole of aluminium requires 3 faraday charge so 4.5 gram of aluminium will require 3 upon 27 multiplied by 4.5 faraday which is equals to 0 0.5 faraday that means the correct answer is option number d moving to the next question crude sodium chloride contains impurities of students crude sodium chloride contains sodium sulfate that is na2so4 cacl2 that is calcium chloride cso4 that is calcium sulfate and mgcl2 that is magnesium chloride as impurities that means the correct answer is option number d moving to the next question tert butyl methyl ether on cleavage with one equivalent of hi gives the options are tert butanol plus methyl iodide the next option is tert butyl iodide plus methyl alcohol the next option is isobutylene plus methyl alcohol and the last option is isobutylene plus methane let us write the reaction students we are given with tert butyl methyl ether which is this first of all this reacts with H plus the lone pair of oxygen bounds with H plus and protonation will occur we get protonated ether now student this bond will shift towards oxygen as a result here 3 degree carbocation will be formed here I am drawing the products so formed CH3OH this will be alcohol and here third butyl carbocation will be formed now I minus will attack on this carbocation as a result third butyl iodide will be formed since carbocation is the intermediate so formed so we can say that this reaction follows SN1 mechanism that means the correct answer is option number B the products so formed in the given reaction was tert butyl iodide and methyl alcohol moving to the next question which of the following amines will not give the carbyl amine test the options are CH3 NH2 then benzene NH C2H5 then CH3 CH CH3 NH2 and the last option is aniline that is benzene with NH2 
students for this question we need to know that all primary aliphatic or aromatic amines on heating with chloroform that is chcl3 and ethanolic koh that is potassium hydroxide gives carbyl amine or isocyanides which are foul smelling substances on the other hand secondary and tertiary amines do not show such reactions this reaction is known as carbyl amine test or isocyanide test let's write the reaction r nh2 plus ch cl3 plus 3 koh this on heating gives r nc these are isocyanides that is foul smelling substances plus 3 kcl plus 3 h2o so students it is very clear that this reaction is given by 1 degree aliphatic or aromatic amines so tertiary or secondary that means 2 degree and 3 degree amines will not give this reaction so this is 1 degree this is 2 degree this compound will not give carbylamine test so the correct answer is this and here is a primary amine this will give this test and this is also a primary amine this will also give this test that means the correct answer is option number c moving to the next question